Hey you guys, it's Paige Fulfer with Berkshire Hathaway. Today I wanna to tell you guys a little bit about my first close during COVID. So we just closed on Monday, April 20th. I represented the buyer and um, we actually opened escrow on March 19th, which if that date sounds familiar to you, it's probably because that's when the governor announced the stay at home order. Um, so obviously this transaction looked very different uh, than your typical transaction, but I kind of wanted to take a couple minutes um, to talk to you guys about how we were still able to safely carry through the transaction and close on time. All right, you guys, so the first thing that looked very different this time around was our inspection. Um, so typically I am at the inspection, my buyer is at the inspection, and then anyone else whose opinion my buyer might value um, is also welcome to join us at the inspection. Um, so this time around the inspector, while he was still inspecting, he was unfortunately not allowing anybody else at the property, which completely understanding, and my buyer was very understanding of this as well. Um, so the inspector, when he went to inspect, he um, followed proper safety protocols. So he wore a face mask, gloves, wiped every doorknob, window down, um, wore booties, and then he modified his inspection report with his findings to be very video oriented. Um, so every single uh, place that he went in the house, every single finding, whether it be minor or major red flag, um, he was able to deliver in the report via video. Something too that I've gotten some questions on is how is the buyer's deposit being delivered to escrow? Because a lot of offices are closed, most offices are closed. Um, and even though escrow is considered an essential business as well, they're not taking any walk-ins into their office and a lot of escrow officers and their teams are working remotely. Um, so in case you haven't bought before, um, most of the time uh, your earnest money deposit as a buyer is actually wired. So there's no person um, in-person contact that's required to get your money into escrow for your deposit. Um, so all of this happened as normal, all of the systems have been in place for that, the banks are still open. So there was no delay in wiring or anything like that. So for those of you who have bought before, you know how much documentation is involved with the escrow process. Um, so seller disclosures, property disclosures, natural hazard disclosures, preliminary title report from the title company, all of that stuff is delivered via email anyways. Um, so in order to sign until we get to loan docs, which I'll touch on briefly in a minute, um, in order to sign, all of that can be done via DocuSign. So there's really no need for any physical contact in order to get those documents signed and to continue on with escrow. Definitely the biggest change in this transaction when we're comparing it to a typical transaction um, outside of COVID is the implementation of new forms pertaining to coronavirus specifically that were brought out by California Association of Realtors. Um, so I won't get into too much detail, but I do just want to let you guys know it is so important now more than ever to align yourself with an agent who is constantly staying up to date with these changes. I mean, these forms have been changed more times than I can count over the last few weeks since they've been brought out. And um, basically these forms are intended to protect your client and yourself and other people involved in the transaction. Um, there are assumption of the risk forms. There are showing advisory forms that lay out very specific protocols that must be adhered to if you are gonna be stepping foot into the property. Um, and you know, it's, these forms have um, affected transactions. In my case, it, it really helped protect my buyer because um, I was able to negotiate in a coronavirus addendum. Um, but if you guys have specific questions about these forms, please let me know and I'm happy to elaborate. At our final walkthrough, um, I brought along my safety kit. We wore gloves, face masks, had, I had uh, sanitizing wipes and hand sanitizer, all that good stuff. Um, and we were just pretty quick to get through the property and verify its condition. So we weren't lingering around. And although it's a very exciting time, um, my client and I both were very understanding of the circumstances and um, just wanted to get done what we needed to get done so that we could get back home. This brings us to closing day. Uh, title companies have been set up for over a month to be doing these e-recordings. The county recorder's office is closed. So uh, Monday morning, I got an email from Title with confirmation of recording and a copy of the grant deed. Um, and I was able to meet my buyer later that day to hand him over the keys. Of course, we were both wearing masks. 
All right, I'm gonna wrap up this video with a quick market update for you guys um, to let you guys know what I'm seeing out there in the market right now. So um, we are still in a seller's market judging off of the, the level of inventory. So we still only have a one and a half month supply of inventory. Anything under a six month level is considered a seller's market and then anything above a six month is considered a buyer's market. Um, fortunately, however, there is opportunity for both buyers and sellers out there right now. Um, so for sellers, if you were someone who was considering listing and selling your home this year before COVID took off, um, you know, depending on your specific circumstance, because we are seeing such a dip in inventory and we're seeing homes be delisted from the market, it means you have less competition as a seller. So it might be a great time for you to list. Um, and then for you buyers out there, you know, I would just encourage you guys to think long term. Um, my transaction that I just was telling you guys about um, with my client, he ended up buying the house for $80,000 less than what he had originally offered. Um, we were able to negotiate, you know, down his offer price because so many other buyers had pulled out of the market. Um, understandably because they were so nervous with what, what had started to happen with coronavirus and consumer confidence has, has definitely been uh, shaken. So um, if you guys were thinking about possibly buying this year, possibly selling, let's chat. Um, I'd be happy to dive into the details of your community and neighborhood and price point specifically. So please let me know um, if I can answer any of your questions. Hopefully you found this insightful. I know that uh, real estate may not be what's on the top of your mind right now. It probably isn't, but in the case that it is, I hope you guys found this informative. Um, and if you guys have any questions at all about how to move forward, take the next step in uh, either buying or selling, I'm happy to uh, jump on a Zoom call with you do a virtual consult, um, anything that you prefer. So please let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll see you soon.